right, so that's done. Brilliant. Which means that we can just go to this point in the timeline or this point in the timeline and we have our lines. If we'd done that before, because it's an ongoing simulation, the particles would have just flown everywhere. So this is cool. And you can see, in fact, you can tell it's cache because this little red tag here, cache tag, comes onto the emitter and the two trails that we created. Right. Turn these back on and look at that. How easy was that? It's a bit slow because you've got loads of trails. And that's fine. Simple as that. A couple of things. You have this system here. Now we want to output it. So I use I've used plenty of things. You can assign a material tag, like let's bring this this way. If you use octane, for example, like I do, you can add, give this an emission. Let's make this a surface brightness, otherwise, it'll be way too bright. Uh, drop in a texture, make that black. If we open a render viewer, nothing happens because we haven't given the trail an object tag. Otherwise, it doesn't really know what it's trying to see or export any geometry. So we go to where well, is it? C4D, here we are, object tag. We go to hair, render as hair. So it doesn't actually render geometry, which is pretty cool. It means it'll be as light as hell. And there we are. That's pretty cool, right? Add this one here, add this one here. Let's put this over here. Make another one and then change. I don't know. Let's make this a specular object. So, not specular, sorry. A, a metallic object so that it reflects the light from its neighboring splines. You get this quite cool reflective surface. Now, the lines are a bit jaggedy still. So that's just a question of the subdivision of the spline. So there we are. That's pretty cool, I think. But if you don't want to do it that way. Get rid of these. We can do it in a in a sort of more of a line drawing, technical drawing style. What we do is we go to our settings up here, keep it standard. That's fine, and we drop in a sketch and tool, sketch and tune tab. There we are. And so, what does this mean? That means basically it's just a sketch and tune shader, and then we add this sketch and tune material to our different uh, trails so that you can give each a different color so we turn these off don't need that go into shading this is basically our background shading turn that to black if we go to our material here go to thickness maybe bring this down to one we want it to be white because if it's black on black we won't see it drop this onto bright just for now, and if we click the render preview, there we are, Bosch. You have it there. How cool is that? If we make another one, make that orange, just for, because why, why not? Why the hell not? Into dark. Boom. I think that's pretty cool. 
So then what you can do is if you change this to 24, so it matches our project settings, all frames, render this out. Don't need to save it anywhere because we're just previewing it. And nothing's happening. Ah, oh, no, something is happening. It's just because the particles are being emitted. I forget that it's actually coming from a spot. So here they come. You can already see that they're being animated here. Isn't that fun? All right. Here we are. Once you've outputted that, once you've rendered that out, uh, I'm sure you know what you're doing in that front. Um, make sure, you know, here at the moment I've just put in some random settings, but you can go into all of these and change the color, the stroke. You've got loads of different options here. The opacity, you can then modify them. The thickness and color, the most important ones at this stage just for this project. Um, equally, you can start adding more deformers, bringing in different deformers up here, like a bend and twist and affect those. That also works. You can make something really crazy. Um, so yeah, there you go. So I'm just going to go into an output that I did earlier for this project. And you see here, this is the output unaffected. This look, to get to this look, here, rather than this sort of ultra bright thing. Very simple things to add in After Effects. So don't ignore this solid composite, that's just so it fades out over the layer below. Um, you just bring in a brightness and contrast that you can just type in here. Oops. Here bring the brightness down all the way and up the contrast all the way so you get this now it seems to turn it into this sort of purpley what's really cool by upping the contrast it means it highlights everywhere that there's light a bit like if you were on Photoshop and dodging the highlight areas and darkening where it's dark and to get rid of this sort of purpley hue, just add a tint here, and there you have it. You have this wonderful generative hut undulating topology. And there you are.